Hello, welcome to today's video. I'm really excited about this one because we're going to be talking all about puppy socialisation. I know a lot of you are really worried about the lockdown, the lack of in-person classes and how this will affect your puppy. So I'm here today to help relieve you of those worries and give you some tips that are really going to help our pups. If you're already out and about socialising your puppy, that's fantastic. But I still encourage you to watch through this video because our puppies are always learning. They're always making associations and there's so much we can teach them. So, socialisation. I know a lot of you will have come across the term before, but let's have a little look at what it means for our puppies. Puppy socialisation is one of the ways that we're going to introduce our puppies to the world around them and we're going to ensure that they're happy, relaxed and really well adjusted so we can take them anywhere with us in the future. If you want to have a dog that you can take everywhere with you when we're allowed to again, like to the pub to relax or to your friend's house, out for a picnic in the park or to a cafe for some cake, without them causing chaos while you're there, then socialisation is essential. There's a lot we can be doing with our puppies through lockdown and it's going to help them come out the other side of this really content, happy and well-rounded. It's never too early to start socialising, so if you've just got your puppy, socialisation can be started right away. And if you have a slightly older puppy, the things we've got coming up today are still going to be really valuable for you too. Don't worry either, because I know some of us are really, really busy right now and have a lot going on. So the ideas I have for you are all things that can be done in as little as five, ten minutes a day and will make a huge impact for your puppy long term. We're going to start talking about what socialisation is and crucially, what it isn't. If you have any questions at all, please do ask so I can help to answer them for you. Socialisation is a really fun, exciting part of bringing up our puppies. I completely understand how many of you may be feeling at the moment, worrying that because of lockdown we can't do the same level of socialisation that our puppy needs, but please don't worry. Because in actual fact, what we tend to think of as socialisation and what socialisation should be can be completely different things. So when it comes to teaching our puppies all about the world around them, we want to teach them how to interact with people and other dogs, get them used to walking on the surfaces that they're going to walk on, the sights, sounds, smells and things around them that they're going to come into contact with throughout their life. The goal of socialisation is to build a dog who's really well-rounded, robust and resilient so they don't become fearful or overreactive, but also that they aren't over-aroused, over-excited and unable to cope with the frustration of not being able to interact with the things around them. So while it's really tempting to think that during socialisation we need our puppies to go and interact with as many dogs as possible and that they need to go and meet hundreds of people, that's not quite the case. If we let our puppies go down the route of interacting with every person and dog they see, then what happens is we can develop a puppy that becomes so intense around people and dogs that it really affects our training further down the line and not in a good way. If we've got a really confident puppy and they've learned that every single person and dog around them is a friend they haven't met yet, what happens is when we let them off the lead, they desperately want to go off and see what other people and other dogs are doing. And this creates a bit of an issue when it comes to getting our dogs to focus on us, coming back when called and keeping them safe around distractions. On the other hand, a lot of puppies find meeting strangers and unfamiliar dogs a bit stressful. So if everybody interacts with our puppy and we allow our puppies to greet every dog, we can overwhelm them. And if we rush in at the deep end and allow them to greet 
everybody. We run the risk of our puppy developing a negative association to those experiences. So instead of us developing a resilient, confident, happy dog, we actually end up with a dog that becomes fearful. They might bark and growl or run away and seek safety in those situations. And we don't want that for our puppies. In some aspects, lockdown is doing us a favour because we're not getting hundreds of people desperately trying to say hello to our puppy and not feeling like we can say no because they're asking really nicely. But you need to be your puppy's advocate and saying no can sometimes be the best thing in your puppy's interest. So when it comes to socialisation, what should we be doing? Teaching our puppies how to interact with other people and dogs is part of the process, but teaching our puppy how to watch the world around them from a distance is often something important that gets missed. And this is something we can be doing really well at the moment with social distancing and lockdown. There are loads of things that we can do to help our puppies adjust to the world around them that are safe for you to be doing now and will have a long lasting impact. At the moment, most of us are allowed to go outside for exercise and to go and buy our essentials. So what we can do is take our puppies with us. If your puppy hasn't completed their vaccinations just yet, that's okay. You can still carry your puppy and get them out and about and observing the world. They're still going to be able to get used to the sights, sounds and smells. If you have a puppy that's a little too heavy to carry, but they haven't finished their vaccinations just yet, you could get a little stroller for them or a little trailer that you could pop their crate in so you can still take them around and they still get to see the world, but without any risk. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we're getting our puppies out and about and watching the world. We can make that experience even more positive for our puppies by offering them plenty of praise when other people or dogs walk by or giving them a nice tasty treat as an extra bonus when they notice things around them. When it comes to going outside, it's also really important that we take our puppies on little car journeys too, because our puppies also need to learn that the car is a positive experience. So when you next go to the shops, take your puppy with you if you can. Sit in the car with your puppy, offering them praise and tasty treats as you watch the world go by and your other half does the shopping. <laughs> There'll be people wearing face masks. There'll be moving trolleys. There'll be other cars moving really slowly. All of these things are really important and we can be introducing our puppies to them now. Other things you can do to introduce your puppy to the world around them is set up a puppy pen in your front garden or sit with them on their lead if that's easier. Give your puppy a stuffed Kong or a nice chew to enjoy and sit there with them while they have their tasty treat as you both watch the world go by. This is a really nice way that your puppy will be able to observe what's happening outside. But, you know, without that pressure of being encouraged to engage lots and become overexcited. If your puppy is a little wary, then this is going to give them a way to observe everything going on, but with no pressure to actually interact or to do anything. So this is going to be really good for getting your puppy introduced to your neighbourhood and all of the sights and sounds and smells that your puppy is going to experience on a daily basis. Now, a lot of the things that we would normally come into contact with and experience with our puppies aren't going to be possible just yet. We're not going to be able to walk among crowds talking and cheering or take them along to places where there are lots of children running around playing and screaming. Although I think at the moment some play parks have remained open so you could go and sit near one of them and give your puppy some tasty treats if you have one local to you. Some of the things that are really important to introduce our puppies to are the sounds of the experiences that they can't have in reality at the moment. One of my top tips 
is that you play some of these sounds. You can log on to YouTube and play some sound clips at a really low volume while your puppy is enjoying a Kong, Licky Mat, Snuffle Mat, or a nice chew. And while your puppy is enjoying their treat, very quietly play some of the sounds that they're not going to be hearing out and about right now, much like you would with the sounds of fireworks or thunderstorms. Start at a really low volume and gradually increase it, but making sure that your puppy is nice and relaxed the whole time you practice. Be sure to include the noises of children playing, heavy traffic noise, building works, as well as your thunderstorms and fireworks. We need to make sure we play these noises to our puppies because if they don't experience them now, then after lockdown, when they hear all of them for the first time, it's going to be too much and a lot of our puppies will be overwhelmed. So we can introduce them to the sounds nice and safely at their own pace in our own home environment. There are lots of other things we can do as well. So when it comes to getting our puppies used to people, we know it's really important that they start to build up that confidence around a variety of people. Different ages, sizes, long hair, short hair, glasses, beards, different clothing, all sorts of things that we need to introduce our puppies to. One of the things that we can't do in lockdown is get them watching the volume of people they would normally see, which means it's up to us to become as many of those people as possible. And this is where the fun part comes in. Hopefully you'll enjoy this one. And if you have children, I'm sure they'll love to take part too. Because what we can do is have some fun with dressing up. <laughs> you can get yourself wearing different outfits, glasses, hats, wigs, walking sticks if you can find something similar, pushing prams if you have kids that have dolls, all safely at home without needing anybody else. You want to start by introducing your puppy to each item gradually. What we're not going to do is suddenly come into the room in full fancy dress with our face masks on, a crazy looking hat and a high vis jacket because that's likely to just freak your puppy out and they'll get really scared really quickly. So what we're going to do is gradually introduce our puppies to these things with the aim of supporting them through the process so they enjoy the game too. What you can do is bring in all your fancy dress items and let your puppy see them, sniff them, and then pop them on one at a time and reward your puppy with some tasty treats. Then take them off again and repeat the process with each item. Your puppy will notice there's a change, but they won't be scared by your sudden change of appearance. Once you've done that, you can then walk around wearing different fancy dress and just acting like it's a completely normal part of your day. So your puppy is going to get used to it and it won't phase them at all. They won't be worried and equally they won't be overexcited. It just becomes normal until the Amazon delivery driver arrives and he gets a little surprise. <laughs> Fancy dress is going to be great just because we can't introduce our pups to a number of different people at the moment. So I'm also going to do a little post with a note about masks for you so we can help get our puppies used to them because they're going to be seeing people in masks and I want them to feel nice and comfortable with that too. Other things we can be doing with our puppies that are going to really help is introducing them to different objects around and letting them learn how to investigate and interact with them. So we can create little confidence courses at home. All you need to do is go around your home, garden, garage if you have one, and find a selection of different objects that are completely safe, but that your puppy has never really seen before or interacted with. You're going to put them in a safe space for your puppy. You could do that in your garden if that's safe and enclosed or in a puppy proofed room indoors. Lay the object out and then bring in your puppy to investigate. 
we're going to allow our puppies the choice to go and explore these objects along with our support. So be completely led by your puppy. Don't use food to lure them closer to any of the objects because what often happens is if we take something tasty and encourage our puppies to follow it, they'll follow it blindly and then suddenly realize what's around them and they might panic if they're not quite ready for that. What we don't want to do is lure your puppy into a situation that they're not ready for yet. The key here is to let them explore in their own time and at their own pace. When they choose to move closer to the object or go in for a sniff, be sure to go with them, praise them nice and enthusiastically, and then you can give them a treat while they're there to make it extra special. Giving your puppy complete choice here is going to really help build their confidence and we won't run the risk of overwhelming them if they're not ready to go and explore just yet. So we've talked about the importance of observing the world around us from a distance and making it a pleasant experience for our puppies playing them with a variety of different sound clips to help them get used to those, having fun dressing up and building confidence courses at home. Be sure to do these activities with your puppy, even if it's just for five or 10 minutes a day, they will make such a difference in the long run. Socialization can be really fun for our puppies and for us, but remember to go at your puppy's pace, give them choice, be their advocate and have fun.